Okay, so this week has been interesting, to say the least. Um, first exciting thing that happened, um, I went to get my hair pur dyed purple. I don't know if you can really tell in this crappy light, but my hair's purple now. Not all of it, but I go to the hairdresser and my host mom, you know, goes with me. She tells the lady what I want, and and she leaves. Leaves. Leaves me there. And I don't speak Portuguese, obviously. You know, I speak enough to tell you that I don't speak Portuguese. Eu não falo Portuguese. Verdade. So, sitting here and these people are like doing stuff to my hair. I have no idea what they're doing. I don't know if they're doing what I want them to do. You know? Um, and so, like, I've been there for like two hours and I'm sitting there waiting for whatever's going on with my hair to be finished. And the lady taps me and points towards the door and I'm really confused and she grabs my arm and takes me to the door and she's like hey hey and points at this guy and he's like oi and I was like I don't know fellow Portuguese and he looked really like confused and I guess he was the guy who was supposed to take me home well I just smiled and I was like hmm, you know so he decided to wait for me I guess so 20 minutes later, I go outside and he's sitting there. I get in the car with him and in complete silence we drive to my house and I get out and he drives off. It was interesting. Um, Saturday was their Halloween celebration here and in the condominium where I live they do trick or treat and they had like a little party and the bar at the front of the gated community, condominium, whatever. Um. I went there with some of my friends and we were coming back into the like in the gates and we had a bottle of vodka and they are not 18 which is how old you have to be to drink here so when this car pulled over and pulled up to us they handed me the bottle because I'm 18 however I'm also a rotary exchange student which means I'm not allowed to drink and as luck would have it they're rotary <laughs> That kind of thing happens to me a lot. So they like start talking to everybody about me and I'm like, Ew, no fellow Portuguese and they didn't believe me. They thought that they were lying, that I was lying, and that I spoke Portuguese and they kept talking to me and I had no idea what they were saying, you know. And finally they're like, Tell McLoney to move their car out of the road. So they have like a fifteen year old driving their car and they're obviously pretty drunk and they're trying to get us to go home with them and drink with them. And it was very terrifying, so we just ran off basically. Um and today, not like an hour ago, I was here by myself, um hanging out on the computer, talking to my cousin, and the security pulls up in front of the house and says something to me. I smile, shake my head yes, whatever you say, you know, I believe you, and like 10 minutes later, this car pulls up, and this guy gets out, and he comes up to the window, and he starts talking to me, and I'm like, eu não falo portuguese, eu sou intercambio, and he's like, uh, Vanya, a key, and I was like, no, Vanya's not here, um, no key, no key, I don't know. And I let him in, you know, like, good thing this guy wasn't, like, a psycho mugger or something. And I guess he's the security guy, he, the security guys let him in because I said that they could, I don't, I guess that's what I said. And it was insane. He, like, was here to fix something technical, I don't know. Um, he had a friend who speaks English, so he called his friend and I talked to her on the phone. She was like, when will Vani be back? And I was like, I don't know. Rachel will be back in about half an hour, her daughter. And so she was like, okay, is it okay if he waits? I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And like 10 minutes later, he leaves. So I don't know what that was all about, but it was insane. Um, I'm really excited because I think I'm going to get a tattoo tomorrow or very soon in the next few days. Oh, but I'm so scared that it's gonna hurt. Like, oh, ugh. I'm just terrified, basically. But 
it's insane when I have to, like, defend my inability to speak another language. I've never had to do that before, like, I've never had to swear up and down that I don't speak another language. Like, usually, you know, people try to look good and be like, oh yeah, I speak a little of whatever, you know, I speak a little Spanish, which doesn't help me here, surprisingly. And it's just one of the most awkward situations I've ever been in, but, um... I guess that's really all I have to say right now, so later.